PQ, RS, TV and W are seated in a straight line facing north but not necessarily in the same order. So, 7 persons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. North, so left is left, right is right, no worries. R sits third to the left of W. Neither R, neither R nor W sits at the extreme ends of the line. So, R and W cannot at, sit at the extreme ends of the line. And what do we know? R sits third to the left of W. R sits third to the left of W. Left of W is our left. So, W cannot come here. It's not at the extreme end of the line, right? But W can take this position. So, R sits third to the left of W. So, 1, 2 and 3. This position should be occupied by R. This is case number 1. What is the other possible case? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? R sits third to the left of W. So, if I take W here, left of W, right? 1, 2 and 3. This can be R. Are you able to follow? R is third to the left of W. 1, 2, 3, left of W. 1, 2, 3, left of W. R and W cannot be extreme ends. So that is the reason we are not taking W in this position, right? Or in this position because R and W cannot come at the extreme ends. Next statement. Only one person sits between R and T. Only one person sits between R and T. Already R is available. Only one person sits between R and T. Either T can go that side or T can come this side. In the first case, there are again two possible cases. If you take T on that side, that's one case. T on this side, that's another case. So again, you can split it into two parts, but as such, I would say, understand, either T will come here or T is going to come here. Are you able to follow? Instead of again writing one more case and T in one uh, position there, T in this position here, just take it as it is. You just remember T will either take this or this position, sorry. Only one person says between R and T. But second case, if you observe, T cannot go that side. Because one person has to be between R and T, T will be out of the arrangement. But T can come on this side. Only one person sits between R and T. So R dash T, this will be T. So as per second case, only one possibility for T, this one. As per the first one, there are two possibilities. Then, S is not an immediate neighbor of either R or W. This is important. S is not an immediate neighbor of R or W. Neither R nor W, right? S is not an immediate neighbor of R or W. Now, S cannot come in these two positions because here it becomes neighbor of R. And S cannot come in these two positions as well because here it becomes neighbor of W. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are ruled out for S. So obviously S will come here as per the first case. And now understand, if at all S is coming there, T cannot come here, which means T should now come in this position. Are you able to follow? So that's how you verify. Likewise, second case, S is not an immediate neighbor of, what does it say? S is not an immediate neighbor of R or W. So S cannot come here, S cannot come here, S cannot come here. The only possibility is S must be coming here. Read the next statement. Uh, two people sit between T and P. Two people sit between T and P. Where is T here? Two of them sit between T and P. So 1, 2, P is not possible. But that side is possible. 1, 2, P can be coming here. Right? Look at the second case. Two people sit between T and P. So 1, 2, P cannot come here. 1, 2, P may come there. Right? Two people sit between T and P. So 1, 2, P. That's the only possibility. P cannot come on this side because already S has occupied this part. Then Q is an immediate neighbor of S. Q is an immediate Q is an immediate neighbor of S. Q is an immediate neighbor of S. So look at this. Can Q be the immediate neighbor of S as per the first case? No. Q cannot be the immediate neighbor of S. So Q cannot come in. I mean, it's not possible to fit Q in that case. Here, Q has to be the immediate neighbor of S. So Q comes in this position. And if Q comes here, left out person we know, right? Uh, if you read the statement there, P, Q, R, S, T, V, and W. So, P, Q, R, S, T, V, and W. So, this should be the person. So, P, R, V, T, W, Q, S. And now you can answer the five questions.